Okay, now that you're feeling confident using the Bluebot in your classroom, yourself and with your students, let's have a look at some of the different project ideas you can use to integrate the Bluebot into your curriculum. First of all, what we're going to do is look at some of the different projects we have on this screen here. Uh, you can see starting on the left hand side, one of the easiest ways to integrate it into your classroom is to use it in maths or reading groups in the early learning classes. So here you can see that it's got supervising cards set down on the mat that's provided in the tablet robotics kit. And the students are moving their um, blue bot to the correct card um, matched to the number that they're holding. Another way you can do this at the top, you can see that they have a map of shapes. So they're also integrating it in the same way in their maths and reading groups. Under that, you can see that the students have started to create their own maps. So not only are they using the maps provided or the ones that you provide them, the students can start creating their own maps to tell their own story that the blue body is running to. A couple of these pictures you'll see it has the old B bot in it, but it's a great example of other ways you can use it. Underneath that story map, you can see it has an overlay of the maps that we provide in the tablet robotics kit, and they put that on top of a geography scene. So here, if you want to start expanding their use beyond the early stages, we can start using it in stage two and three in different ways such as that, by overlaying it on top of those Australian and world maps to move from scene to scene. At the top right hand side, you can see an awesome way to build your map up in a 3D environment as well, not just drawn on the piece of paper. So here they've used blocks to build up their scene in 3D and the blue bot themselves has to travel through that story from one point to another. What you can do to extend that even further is start adding components to your scene, such as built trees or houses or something for the blue bot to carry from one point to the other to turn it into an actual story itself. You can then take that story that they physically built themselves and start writing about it in your writing lessons, which is great for that early literacy in early stage one and stage one, where they're talking about their writing before they actually start writing it themselves. Another example there you can see underneath that in the bottom right hand corner is where they're using those cards to build their algorithm to meet the challenge point. And here is a really good opportunity to start talking about those positioning outcomes we need to meet in the math syllabus. Let's go to the next page and look at a couple of um, other ideas you could use itself. So an interesting idea is to attach a pen or pencil to the um, blue bot to see what shapes it might make with the algorithms they built. If they make a square for the blue bot to move in itself and attach a pen or pencil, it actually creates a circle and it creates a really good discussion opportunity point between yourself and the students to talk about positions and shapes themselves. What it also does, it starts building the artwork that the students can say they programmed a robot to create some art. What a great opportunity that is. Underneath that, you can see that the students have started building their own sight word charts so not only are they using the coding, they're also starting to build their understanding of the sight words in the early years as well. Um, next to that, you can see another map created for the students to create their own story. If you have a student that may be stuck in their process of coming up with ideas for their story, all it might take is for a student just to use a created map for the blue bot to travel from one point to the other, talk about where he's going, and all of a sudden that student has a story that they have built with the robot. Now, one thing that I love doing from that point on is really building up the scenes that the blue body is car carrying in. So the last three pictures there on the right hand side of the screen is really using that creativity and play in the early years of learning to get your blue bot to travel from one point to the other. You can dress up the scene itself or in the bottom right hand side, you see they've dressed up the robot in little puppets. So that's another great way to build characters in your classroom using the blue bot itself. They're just some of the early ideas you may be able to use now that you and your students are confident using the Bluebot. See what you can come up with to use in your class. This video is part of a series of support videos all about the kit that you have borrowed. To find the other videos in this series, head to the Learning Library and visit the kit page for the equipment you've borrowed. You can also find the full list of support videos for all of our kit on the YouTube channel. You can also join us in the Yammer community. 
If you have any questions or you'd like to ask teachers how they've used the equipment in their classroom, then why not join us on the STEM T4L Facebook community? It's a closed group. You can ask teachers how they've used the equipment and also share the work samples that your students have created. 